episode of Bob and the Sign Man. Today, let's take a little look at some crime against signs. Um, yeah, it does happen. Graffiti, um, stickers, um, gunshots. There's not much you can do about a gunshot um, other than replace the sign. Um, there's all kinds of graffiti. There's paint pins, which are things they have uh, I use them for marking on the back of my signs for uh, legal reasons uh, sign ID numbers and stuff like that but some people like to you know put their little mark on the signs um, you have the sharpie markers the sharpie marker people that come out with sharpie markers and you have the graffiti artists with the uh, spray paint so some of those are tough to remove um, and I've had several viewers say well why don't you use graffiti film well, a roll of my vinyl that I use, I get the 36 inch roll, will run about $1,100 to $1,200, depending on you know the supplier and supply and demand. And the roll of just the yellow, like I said, is gonna run you that much. Then you need the black EC to go over the top of it or whatever colors you're using. That's another 750 bucks. So now you're up to about $1,900 for that roll, you know, to produce the signs. Now you wanna take and you wanna add another $1,200 for the roll of graffiti film that you have to put over the top of it. So you know, you're talking 1200, 1200, 2400, you know, it, it's, a, you know, $2,500 to, to lay out a sign before you even start. So last year I probably replaced about $500 worth of signs. So you figure we're gonna put uh, and you think, well, you know, $500 and, you know, $1,200 is $700 all that time. But that's just one roll. So I use maybe six or seven rolls of uh, vinyl last year. So I'm going to add another, say, 6000 another almost $8,000 for Graffiti Guard when I only replaced $500. So the next year, if I replaced $500 worth of signs, I would have needed two rolls of Graffiti film you know or you know and more uh, graffiti film so now you're talking you know another eight thousand dollars so it's cheaper to spend the five hundred dollars and replace it than it is to spend eight thousand dollars for graffiti film because in two years you know that's sixteen thousand another four you know thirty two thousand dollars over a course of four years and you're only replacing less than a thousand dollars worth of signs that could be a digital printer or something like that. So they don't have the huge graffiti pro problem, but you know, I, I try to fix what I can. What I can't, I have to replace. So, and I'll show you some easy ways to remove some of the graffiti. Let's take a look at that right now. Okay, well, let's take a look at my family helpers we have here. Um, put a little plastic sheet down here. I don't wanna get my table too messed up. So, um, paint pens has been a, uh, problem now with some graffiti they have uh, different colors now they got red they got black and I, I different color I just can't believe people are just driving down the road and say hey this looks like a good spot to bust out some graffiti let's do it but they do so in the past I've had graffiti wipes they didn't work very well so I've had a couple um, graffiti guards that I've tried using this one is from a company called State. It's called Knockout. Works pretty good. I don't use it anymore. The State has this new stuff called Dispatch. So the rep comes by uh, here locally, checks on us every once in a while, and we've been buying this stuff from her for a while now. It's good stuff. Um, you know, I'm not trying to endorse any of these products. I, I don't get paid for that or anything. I'm just showing what works for me. So I like this Dispatch on the paint pens. Let's take a look what it does. So we'll just spray the dispatch on this paint pen. See how it just kind of blasts it away. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll wipe it off of the sign. Look at that. Nice and clear. Only problem is now it has a it's not really a problem out in the field, but it has kind of like a film on it. Like a, I don't know if this has some type of solvent in, like a petroleum product or something. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it down and out in the field, I necessarily don't have to do it, but like if I'm gonna recover it or something, I'll, I'll spray it down with a little, um, this stuff called Rapid Prep. It's a cleaner, it preps the surface, it cleans and eliminates wax, silicones in 60 seconds. I put it in a spray bottle, I label it Rapid Tech, so I can take some out with me, otherwise it's this big jug I have to carry around. So then, once I spray the Rapid Tech, or the Rapid Prep on it, it removes that greasy feeling, and it's, you know, basically good as new. And what I've noticed though, at nighttime, is it doesn't leave too bad of a, a streak on it. It doesn't really affect the reflectivity that much, hardly at all. So there's a paint marker, Sharpie marker, same thing. I've even tried just using the Rapid Prep um, by itself to see what happens. And I guess it'll come off, but you know, it, it sure takes, it takes a while and it smudges and it smears. So I just use the good old dispatch. You see how it just dissipates that just in seconds and you can wipe it clean. Okay. Then, you know, hit it with your rapid prep and take off that, the silicone stuff out of it or whatever, you know, the grease. So I'm always afraid like um, dust is going to collect on it or dirt, you know, if it's grimy or greasy and it's just, look how clean those came out. Now, one of our bigger problems, I don't know how well this is going to do, I just sprayed this, you know, spray paint. The longer the paint stays on, the worse it is to get off. You can see how it leaves a, a there's a, like a black haze around it, you know, when they spray them on, you know. Terrible, terrible crime against the sign right there. So, like I said, I'll get it out and I'll use the old dispatch on it. Shake it up a little and I hit it. Uh, probably have to let it sit for a second or two. The only problem is though, not a problem, see how it's gonna drip down? So when your signs are out in the field, it's gonna drip down, it's gonna get, you know, it can drip down on your signs and, and sometimes it's a problem, sometimes it's not, and I'll show you. So now we can just wipe away that spray paint and it'll smudge, you know, but we'll just hit it with the, let's do this one too. I'll remove both of them, hit, hit it with the dispatch. Let it, it depends on how long that paint's been there. Um, the longer the paint stays, the longer it takes to get off. But then I could just hit it again with this. Um, dispatch and you see it didn't remove quite all of it because that was a thicker amount of paint sometimes when they you know make two or three passes over so take as much as we can wait a few seconds you know for video sakes I'm not waiting as long turn it and it'll come out okay now it feels greasy to me and sometimes you think well hey that's good because that will Maybe easier to clean if they graffiti again. And you just hit it with some rapid tack again. Or not rapid tack, but the rapid press. Now he's, excuse me. We always keep a lot of rags with this. We get rags by the box that we take out in the field. And we're always using the, the um, rags a lot for this kind of stuff. Like I said, most of the time I can remove the graffiti. It, it's not a problem. And, you know, there's our, our sign again. And it doesn't lose it's reflectivity. It'll finally, the stuff will dry out again. And um, so it's been a, a good product line that we've used. So there's basically some of my graffiti problems solved in a way, but not, not quite totally solved. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, let's take a look at this sign I have here. Okay, this is an old sign I had out in the field, and it had a lot of graffiti on it, and I removed most of the graffiti. And what this is, this is an old sign blank that we had. It was an old sign, and it was just the, we had a bunch of these, it's just the border. And I put these on myself, the letters, and what I do is I'm gonna peel these, most of these off, and um, road closed and through traffic, and we used to put dates on here. You can put dates and times when it's gonna be closed, kind of like an advanced warning thing. So when I pull these off, okay, let's pull off this R, for example. 
and I use a different kind of vinyl. If this was EC, you would never peel it off like this. This is a softer vinyl and it won't last as long. I, it, it will probably start to peel up after a couple of years if you were to leave this sign out in the field. But these signs never stay out that long in the field. Okay, I'm not gonna remove this road closed to through traffic because I'm gonna use that one quite a bit. This sign, and I'll finish peeling off the, the letter here. And here we are in the shop in the morning here. I got the heater going. Came up here on a Saturday to kind of make a little video here. Don't want to waste any county time. So when you peel this stuff off, it leaves an adhesive on here. Okay. I'll show you how we're going to remove the adhesive. But one of the problems with the graffiti guard, okay, the graffiti guard is not going to affect this because these are not silk screened on there. When I'm talking about silk screen, when the manufacturer makes screen um, signs, they can silk screen them. I call it silk screen, screen, whatever you want to call it. Or they can digitally print them. When they digitally print the sign, they have to put a graffiti guard over it. Otherwise, that sign is ruined the second graffiti hits it. You know, and those might be a little cost to it. But, um, and I'll show you why we don't like the silk screen signs. So let's take a look at this real quick. I'm gonna get some of my graffiti guard. Suppose somebody, a little drip preventive here. Suppose somebody was to come up and graffiti the sign and put a, um, suppose this guy comes out and he says, this guy comes out and puts Bob the sign man was here okay so Bob the sign man comes along and sees that and go hey I, I don't like that so we're gonna remove the graffiti you think oh no problem we're just gonna we're gonna blast it with the graffiti guard and then we're just gonna remove that graffiti right okay no problem solved to an extent but if that was spray painted Sometimes I'll have those, uh, they call them Batman arrows and stuff, and they'll spray paint on them. And if you spray paint and you get um, the paint over the um, border when it's silk screen, let's just hit that border a little bit. And if you're trying to wipe off an image that's been like, say this was all silk screen and you had graffiti all the way through it, here's what happens. So you let your graffiti guard sit on there a second to eat up the paint because the paint's been on there for a while. But what it does, It'll remove that border, okay? See how it did that? So this is why we don't like silk screening, because now look what it's done. So now you're pretty much in trouble because if this was all silk screen the sign, you're going to remove all that stuff. This is the cheaper vinyl, and it's not going to remove it, but look what, look what happened to my border. Okay, so I get back out here, and I'm going to have to fix that again. And um, there's no way to fix it unless you replace the sign. Even if I put some, I can put a little bit of my rapid prep on it to remove the solvent that I had. And if I have some, some border tape with me that I usually carry, I can recover it, you know, with the, if I have the uh, right materials with me, but pretty much that sign is ruined, especially if it had graffiti in there. So whenever we get the silk screen signs and there's graffiti on them, we just replace them. So the more and more we replace, the less we're gonna have out in the field. So removing the adhesive from signs could be, there's all kinds of adhesive. I showed you these um, letters that I peeled off you can see the adhesive still on. Let's see if I can get that out of the light a little better. Anyways, you can see some of the adhesive still there. I'll show you how we remove that. Some of the adhesive comes from some of the um, stickers that are put on the signs. You peel them off and you got that adhesive. And if you don't get rid of that adhesive, you're gonna get, um, you know, dirt's gonna come back and you're gonna see a blotch where the, the sticker came off. If it's a square sticker, you're gonna have a big square dirty spot. And if there was lettering, you know, the lettering's gonna show back up again. Well, I had been using Rapid Tac for, um, application fluid you know you've seen some of my videos if you're doing small stuff you know you spray a little down and you can move your image around and stuff and it works kind of like a little cleaner and stuff so 
yeah, I'd use this brand for a while. And they says, well, try RapidTac. And I didn't realize RapidTac also made Rapid Remover. Um, it's an adhesive remover. Works great. Um, it says here it removes uh, glue and adhesive, uh, removes sticky residue left by decals and graphics. I guess, in, you know, if you're uh, into graphics and you put stuff on cars, you can use this stuff to remove it. And then um, after you spray on, so this stuff doesn't work for removing adhesive, it's just a cleaner. This is the adhesive remover. This is great stuff here. I re highly recommend this stuff. So then after I've um, sprayed the um, rapid remover, it kind of has a, I don't know exactly what's in here. It doesn't have a whole list of, uh, right here it says product contains, uh, yeah, they have petroleum distillates, distillates and stuff. So it's got kind of like a petroleum based product. So it leaves that little slime, kind of like, you know, greasy slime. So once I peel off a sticker and I want to put the stickers back on, I can't uh, off these off this traffic sign that I was showing you. Remember how I said I just do temporary? Well, once I use an adhesive remover, it doesn't, the stuff won't stick back because it's it's real, you know, petroleum-based product in it. So now, use this stuff called Rapid Prep. Good stuff, too. And here is, I put it in a spray bottle. Because I bought this in gallons, and I bought one of these just to try it, and it worked out so well, I bought a bigger gallon. So I thought, well, I'm not going to buy another little bottle just to get, get the fancy label. So I just put the Rapid Prep here. And so then you spray it back down with the Rapid Prep, and it, uh, it takes away that greasy feeling for the sign. So let's take a look at some adhesive here. Okay, right here you can see that was the number nine that we peeled off earlier. So I use this rapid remover. It's an adhesive remover. Just spray a little on. It says, you know, wait, 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 but you know, get a little impatient sometimes. But anyways, it'll just remove that stuff like nobody's business. I mean, it just comes right off. It actually works better than that denatured alcohol. And then we're going to spray some of that rapid prep on it. And then we'll wipe that off. and it, ready to go again, you can cover that again. So now I can recover that sign again, and I can put, you know, like road closed or through traffic for, um, you know, the times and dates I want on it. And to fix that um, little border up there, I'll show you what, what I do for that. Okay, like I said, I wanna reuse this sign again, but you think, oh boy, that, that graffiti guard took this off. This was a sign that was out in the field, you know, and I had to spray it down and remove some of the graffiti. I brought it back in because it, it basically it's um, did its purpose. I had to bring it back in. Instead of throwing it away, you know, repurpose the sign a little bit. It doesn't take that much time and effort to do that. So what I do, now I have to fix these. Remember I said I had stuff out in the field? Well, I have a bunch of these that are pre-made. I have different size radiuses and thickness. So this one will fit in here. This is a 2.25 inch radius with a, I think it's a 0.875 thickness. So I'll just kind of line up my border there. Okay. And then I'll take a, a piece of um, border here. And I had already cleaned this and everything. It's ready to go. So I just take a piece of the border tape. Like I said, I carry these with me and stuff. I have different, different sizes, you know, on the sheets and stuff. And we'll just lay the border over the top of this. And eyeball it, get it in place. And there you go. That's fixed. You have the border up here that was um, damaged from the graffiti. So we'll just take this. And it's been cleaned with the rapid prep and everything. And we'll just put a, another strip over the top of that. So I, I pre-cut these out on my um, plotter. Okay, so there you have it. Um, the sign is ready to go. I have some black smudging over here. I believe that was probably from, um, could have been from the, uh, 
uh, paint that I had sprayed off at one time. A uh, little hazy there. Let's see if that rapid, oh, there we go. So this rapid prep will kind of remove some of that. Hopefully it doesn't remove my border. No, it doesn't. So, you know, I got my sign cleaned up, um, ready to go again out in the field. So just because your sign gets vandalized, I guess you'd call it a crime against a sign, crime and grime, um, necessarily doesn't mean you have to give up on it. Um, so for a few, the few minutes that it took me to repair this sign, you know, I have to peel off this stuff anyways to put new um, verbiage on here, like road closer through traffic, a certain date and everything, you know, advance warning to let people know, hey, you got to take another route. It doesn't work because then they're so, they're so mad, you know, because the road's closed. They're like, well, well why didn't you tell us the road was going to be closed? So I have a log. I've won this sign went up, and I did get to use this on a guy one time. He was so upset, honking his horn, and I said, is there a problem? He goes, I'm sitting in traffic. Why is the road closed? Why didn't you tell us? I could have taken another way. I'm going to be late for work. I said, sir, I've had that sign up for, I said, where do you live? And he told me. And I says, well, you know, you pass that sign now for three weeks now. Oh, he says. So anyways, um, we're going to, you know, we repurpose the sign. We're going to take it back out and reuse it. Um, like I said, there's no reason to give up on it when you got your little family of friends here. You've got your um, dispatch, graffiti remover, adhesive remover, some rapid prep, some rapid tack cleaner, some little borders, some extra little borders to put back on. And you're back in business, back in the game again. The sign looks like new again. You still have the, uh, some areas are still, um, have the uh, silk screen border on. You can fix that easily. I have borders that are long enough to reach here and around. I could just, I'll probably, before I put this sign back out into the field again, I'll just go ahead and do the um, borders around there so there's no more silk screen. So if I did get that problem again, I can just wipe it off. And like I said, these letters, are of a, of a cheaper vinyl that I use. And they, they come off. It's not the EC, it's a cheaper vinyl and they, they won't last as long. But this sign only sees, you know, a couple, a week or two in traffic and it's gone. So, I mean, it can last for years and years before these letters get bad. And if they do get bad, I can peel them off again and, and change it. Um, sometimes it, it just might be road closed, a certain uh, not even to through traffic. I have various ones, you know, that I can use. But anyways, a little tip on how to um, take care of some crime against signs. Alrighty, that should uh, about conclude this exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man.